Where were you? I messed up. What? What's wrong? They're on my tail. They backtraced me. Ugh, I should have been using Surfshark VPN. Damn it! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. What's Surfshark VPN? It's an online VPN service that allows you to mask your online data from interested parties. With it, I could have been sending and receiving data completely securely. Hell, I could have made it look like I was in an entirely different country. And you didn't use it? No. And if I'd gotten Surfshark alert with it, they would have notified me of any potential breaches. But I got careless. And now, they have my damn cookies. Shit, not their cookies. Oh! Why, why didn't you use Surfshark? Were there any risks? Quite the opposite. They have a 30-day money-back guarantee. I just got careless. I didn't think I needed it. But I was wrong. Okay, well, let's calm down. I'll, I'll get it right now. What do I need to do? Let's go to surfshark.deal slash four-star bento and use the code... <laughs> 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 Why aren't you saying anything? Use the code. Oh, thank God. Four Star Bento at checkout. And you get an exclusive discount. Plus three free extra months. Surfshark.deal slash Four Star Bento. Use the code Four Star Bento. We'll get an exclusive discount plus three extra months. Got it. Yep. Oh, good. Sprinklers. We're never going to make that mistake again. Episode 48. What? It's what? TN time. It's TN's <gasps> it's last ten, moment, it's really. T or, or, or 10 time. 10 and time. If, if you're a disgusting weave like it's me. It's 10 o'clock. Oh, I love it. Mm. This was an episode we've been looking for. You had been sitting on this, and Gon had been salivating over this moment for so, a long time. Gon didn't write almost any jokes. No. There were some improvs he did that yep. were mwah, perfect, and mm -hmm. we used them, but he wrote this joke. The Fuck the, the whole uh, fuck power levels, fuck Super Saiyans, fuck you. That's him. He pitched that to you. I think we yes. were hanging out in person mm -hmm. one time as a joke he had for that scene. And it, alone. it, it fits so perfectly oh, yeah. well and it's paced so amazingly well. And that's why it had to be the thumbnail. Like, th that is the. Even though it's Semi Perfect Shell's first episode. It's TN's moment. Yeah. It's TN's. This is TN's it's, episode. A lot of the episodes have like multiple big things happening at the same time because there's just so many plot points here happening. But TN getting a moment in this arc is kind of, I can't believe it happened. I'm not gonna lie. He get he gets a moment kind of in almost every arc except the uh, except Namek. And uh, he, even even in Boo, he gets that moment where you know he's he just shows up. I was in the woods. Shows up for a minute and then he disappears. So there's a reason, and I, I, there's there's probably a lot of people who are wondering. Why did we give Ten Shinhan of all characters as much love as we ultimately did? Because, because he's so underappreciated. Mm. And, and the reason I personally feel like he's underappreciated is that in terms of characters, he's a stoic, no-nonsense, boring, stale piece of bread. Mm -hmm. but, but he's got thing, three eyes. But he's got three eyes. But the thing that I like about him is he's always working so hard. Mm -hmm. He's always putting in so the extra effort to try and get stronger, to be a better martial artist. He, le he legitimately is a human that wants to be the best. Yeah. It is so funny to me that all joking aside, you got to imagine how much working out he had to have done to get the shoulders he had. It's like, this guy went bigger. Bigger. I but, have to be able to pick someone up and throw them. But th that's the reason I always liked him because I feel like the plot is like, oh yeah, you're constantly you know trying to get better and training. Don't care though. You're never gonna be on yeah, par with everybody else. Yeah, even Krillin, like was, who's you know, the only reason he's stronger is because he got that power boost on Namek. Tien was one of Goku's first big rivals. That's the reality. In fact, I would say uh, after Krillin, he is the next bald rival that he must face. Yeah, and against. It, it went Krillin. If I remember, it went Yamcha. Technically, kinda, kinda, kinda. Yamcha. It was it Tian Piccolo. Was that the actual? Boop, boop. Yeah. You know, I just realized if you think about it. Um, <laughs> oh my God! If you think about it, Pilaf, bald. Krillin, bald. Agitant, black. 
Bald. Mm. Uh, it's because Toriyama only had like five hairstyles in the bank. Uh, it will tend shit on. Bald. Piccolo. Bald. It wasn't until Vegeta that that man oh, fought no, somebody no, else on. with hair. Hey. What if Nappa had lived? Well, hold on. I was bald. Wait. Oh my. Oh yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then he fights Nappa. The okay. Raditz. Sorry. Raditz had. You know what? Raditz had all the hair that all of his previous opponents did not he have. Was, that's why. Had. That's why he showed up with. <laughs> With all of it, he had it all. I don't. I'm. I'm a, that I'm, man clogged I'm, sinks I'm, by existing. I'm a Raditz fan. I'm feeling really attacked. As you know, I'm a Raditz fan. You have to say I don't like Raditz. They make those. <laughs> hey, Masako makes one many what if episodes. What if Raditz mattered is a great series. What if Raditz mattered? Well, it, right now we're not talking about Raditz. Let's see what if TN mattered. The following is a fan base. Ah, uh, yes. I got to do Dragon this. Ball, as... Ball Z, oh, that's Ball cute. I didn't realize that we had you recorded. Well, he's done that. Yeah, we had to record that because he's not, he's not back anymore. Please support yeah. the official release. Yeah. <laughs> so you never had a chance at it. Yeah. Huh? Oh, this God. joke. It's Bulma. <laughs> oh, yeah. This joke, this joke. Huh? What is it, Trunks? Distracted driving. I mean, what else does she have to look out for normally? Bulma? Huh? Bulma, back she just had her texting. What is it, buddy? Oh, Hit pause. There's, there's so many edits there. You can see oh, yeah. the edits, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm happy you did all the edits on this yeah, the, one. The, the, the shadow of Krillin just hanging on like a like a Garfield. Yeah, I honestly, um, I'm really glad that I was able to make that joke work. I probably could have done it a little bit better nowadays, but it's still, <laughs> for comedic effect, I think it still works just fine. Well, I think the joke was, how often do they fly around, and if someone's not looking, they're gonna smack into somebody else, because they're coming at each other at ex really quick speeds. I, I, I won't lie, though, it's the joke after this, their conversation yeah. that I'm a huge fan of because mm -hmm. there's a I love just a conversation of innuendos mm -hmm. that and no one fully acknowledges. And this is one of those parts where we actually had to kind of like start looking a bit for cutaways because uh, yes. uh, th there was only one big plot happening and we could only cut back to Goku and Gohan talking on the lookout so often. Yeah, so that this is sort of interesting because not a lot of people <clears throat> probably think about the pacing that well, we have to worry about. I I, I talked about this uh, when I was tackling uh, the Namek Saga. In the Taka Cut? In the Taka Cut. Now, real quick here, so I want to specifically about doing these kinds of cuts. People don't realize that having other things to cut to allows us to skip an indeterminate amount of time in the core area, which allows us to skip a lot of It, it makes for a lot easier transitions if you're going from like a mid-fight set. Oh, yeah. One of the most, we need fucking something jokes is where we had Bulma drink some damn water. Well, too bad with salt water. Faints. Next scene. That was, that was one of my favorite bits, too. Just like... You bet it was all salt water, though. Slam! I, I, we need to cut. We need to cut it's, 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 She does a Family Guy flop. She does the Family Guy flop. But we, not only did we need the cut, but also it was nice to check in on Bulma. Yeah. Just a small little, like, Especially by the way, just have her chug some fish after water. After we decided to cut the Ginyu Bulma plot. Yeah, I, it's like, hey, remember, Toriyama threw Bulma onto the planet because he wanted to harken back to Dragon Ball, but that does nothing with her. Yeah. yeah. Let, her I wish she had more robots. I feel like she was in an exosuit fighting stuff. It would have been better. I don't know. There could have been something. Oh, you know what? Now that we've gone through all the intros, what's your favorite of the uh, four intros I made? I'm the first oh, one technically I hate five. Change. We technically made five. <laughs> yeah, I technically. Hate... Mine will always be the Garlic Jr. one because so many people miss it. Yeah. Also, <laughs> Marin. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's the most intimidating this form will ever be. Yep. This scene. Enjoy it while it lasts. That and when he's hunting down uh, AP. Just... We have to go! Yeah. Oh shit. Hmm. I love this bit. So this is what lips feel like. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> All right, I'd like to talk about a semi-perfect cell voice. Now, as everyone knows, this is probably the least popular form of cell. In, oh, it's in, a, it, by far, far, far. The actual dub voice that Damian Clark did, respect to what he did, it sounds very dumb in the dub. He's like, it sounds like, because he have that. Because he looks really he sounds dumb. Like, he sounds like Burly Sylvester the cat, and I don't mean that as an insult for what he's going for. So for this one, we wanted to kind of ape that a little bit, but some people have pointed out, I do, Inadvertently, I think I actually did ended up impression, doing an impression of somebody, which was Edgar from Men in Black. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I yeah. can, I can kind of see that. Actually. Where is it? Because that guy came across like that was why I still sugar. 
Edgar, it looks like the skin's Ugh. hanging off your bones. There! Is that is better? That better? Who, who is that actor again? That is no. Vincent, Vincent D'Onofrio. That is Vincent D'Onofrio! Uh, and he never was nominated for an award for that one-of-a-kind performance. Nobody, no, like he, nobody gets things for horror movies, it, no. it, it's Or so, comedies. Which, which sucks because that guy, tr- he yeah. properly acted like there was an actual creature in his skin moving around oh, like him. Oh, he's... Like, it is so good. I rewatched you'll never Men in Black. The, you'll like, never get the galaxy. Oh, you're right about one thing. And just kills the mother. <laughs> it, it really bothers me. I rewatched Men in Black not too long ago. And it's it good. just holds it does. together. Yeah. It's the so, modern day. It was, it's because it was... they have a good blend of practical effects with their relatively good for the time CGI. They kept the CG in the distance. Like the little butt, like those little guys who drank the coffee, they were at the end of the room, not up front of the camera. They kept them at a distance. Also, it kind of felt like they weren't trying to do a billion different things mm. while simultaneously doing nothing. Mm. Modern films. Mm. All right, let's go. But, but yeah, so that's inadvertently kind of what I was going at. Are you okay? Here comes My Broken 16. My structure has received serious damage. How are you? <laughs> I'd concern yourself less with him. It's not focusing on what's important. Me. You, give me back my brother, you fish lived asshole! Here we go. Now, now, being hurtful isn't gonna bring him back. You're a monster. And he was delicious. And you honestly think I'd let you do the same to me? To be honest, your compliance isn't a factor. By the way, <laughs> the original line was your consent, and then we were like, you know what? Let's go with let's the go with okay, wait, it's compliance. Like, it's, we're gonna make enough of no, those yeah, jokes. No matter, let's go with compliance. There we're, is an unfortunate reality of the rest of this plot with him chasing 18. There's a certain level of this is this looks bad. Which this we looks bad. which we do hint at. We are yeah. gonna make very blatant jokes about. But like when we got to that, it's like, you know what? There's they're straddling they're straddling the line. Maybe let's go with compliance let's just, over consent. Let's not let's not whip it in the butt to go any quicker. How about that? We just go on a nice little trot here, huh? Well then, I'll just have to do this. Give yourself a boob exam? No. Explode my bomb. In your boob? No. In my chest. Booby bomb. I'm Booby serious. bomb. Okay, okay. But before we do something we're all going to regret. Let's see what our brother thinks. Brother. What? This is so silly. Yo, Yo Shiggy D, what's, what's up, up my sizzle? sizzle? Yeah, so this is what I was referring to when I was saying, this is how some people wanted us to write him from the start. Yeah. So yeah. I, I I still maintain this version of Seventeen was floated for a little before we made the final I, cut. I would never have gone yo. with that. Yo, yo, it wasn't the joke. He was like, "All right, it's time to rap, guys." <laughs> well, the idea- grab, grab a seat, drop a beat, let's rap. Call me and pickle his head. Kill him quickly. I plan to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, part of it was we were still trying to come up with characterizations, and you know we. Sometimes we go with exaggerated versions, but how do you go with an exaggerated version of a muted character? Oh, nothing. Without, with, with, well, like a muted character without making them boring. Well, we always so, talk about like uh, the term is flanderizing, correct? Yeah. Like, we, we we flanderize a lot of the. We character. take the character and we turn it to eleven. But when the when the when the I'll say like like the flavor of what the androids were meant to be, which were just kind of supposed to be like almost true neutral in my opinion. At least this dimension's version, like they're like chaotic neutral in the like, other. Timeline? Yeah, what, what they what they wanted to do is they wanted them to be like cold mm. robotic yep. killers. Like just they are there and they are going to do what they need to do. It's very Although I really their Japanese performances underlie a lot more playfulness in the mm. way that they deliver things. It's why yep. it's why the original dub, I don't hate it, but there are a lot of things where they talk like this. And we're in a, And sometimes oh, the audio balance is like Oh, way well, only, that's just only an issue the with the dub and the fresh oh, issue only with the, the re release. Only in the re release. But still, there there were some times when we were watching through this and we're trying to listen to whatever Chuck Huber is saying. And the music is like it's just which is why when we were tackling how to like abridge these characters essentially 16 was pretty easy in our head for what we wanted to do i think we all knew what we wanted from 16 but android 18 and 17 and i will say this these two came up with some really good concepts for it i i will be honest i did i struggled with them i didn't know really what to do you didn't like writing for the androids because they were too like my you, writing you, stuff. you you like writing goofy and big. These guys were much more pulled back. Yes, and it's exactly. Yeah, which is why this is why when we were writing as a team, it really came out to show that like in a lot of ways, like I I wrote a good chunk of we we all wrote sales lines, but like in the end, I feel like I wrote more sales lines than I wrote the Android lines. That kind of happens with characters that you voice yeah. though. Yeah. I, I brought this up 
before, and I'll bring it up again in episode 49 mm. when Vegeta shows up, but like oh, when, when it comes to an episode that you are a primary character in, you start thinking about the scenes that you're doing. You start thinking, what would they say? What's, mm. what's a good back and forth between this? I'd say I can place myself in them really... I don't know if that's... The, I don't know, it's not for pretentious reasons. Right? <laughs> no, no, pretentious. no. It's, 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 it's just it's a writing process. You think about how the character would act, how you would deliver the line. Mm. It's, yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, but let's take away here and hear Gon's what if voice. Oh my god. Yo, don't blow your tits, sis. That don't blow your tits, sis. You gotta sis. kill yourself before you kill yourself. This can't actually be real. Shwiggy, oh, it's shwiggy, real. Shwiggy, shwiggy. And it's happening. For so 20 soul do slice. Calm down and get all up in cell. Fam. It's downright tubular in here. Fam. We got candy and puppies and. You know absolutely nothing about us, do you? Bruh. Okay, to be fair, I just met you. This isn't a game. Oh, but it is. All you have to do is kill yourself before I catch you. It's like tag. For keys. <laughs> and now, with both Piccolo and 16 out of the way, we can play. Here we go. <laughs> Not yet! Huh? Oh my god! It's so like, What? What? Was Krillin busy? <laughs> Come on, buddy, you can't be serious. With your power. Shot level, so bad. You're no <laughs> android, <laughs> you're no Namekian. <laughs> And you're yeah. certainly no, no Super, Super Saiyan. Saiyan. Here we go. You're just, just human. Yeah? Well, you know what? F power levels. But Super, Super Saiyan. Saiyan. And f you! Shin Kiko! Oh. Oh. Fucking gone, man. Oh, man. Yeah. The f when I... When he first... knew this was Tien's last big moment, so he's going. There's the first season... When Tien blasts Nappa for what he for what happened to Chaozu, his performance in that scene is I, I think arguably one of the best parts of the first season because it's just so good for what this show was at the time. And then here it is in season three, even bigger, even I, bigger. I, I am the Tien only Tien literally yeah. saves everybody. Yes, he does. He, do, he totally does. I am the only serious character in the show. That is the joke. Respect. No, <laughs> this is the last cool thing I'll, I'll ever do. do. Respect. Respect. <laughs> That's all Sal could say. Respect. Respect. Yeah, no, honestly, um, like, by the way, the music in the background here is from Shadow of the Colossus. Ah. Um, oh, yes. Like, because I was looking for music. So, so whenever uh, I... A man fighting insurmountable odds. Yes. When I reach for music outside of a show, I try to go for something that is relevant, that... Like something in either in the title or it's used in another piece of media. Because if I'm gonna call out to something else, people are gonna hear that and think, "Oh, they use this for that shot. That's so good," and not like, and, and not in a super obvious way. Like I don't like to make it like. I don't you, want... you didn't loot. You didn't use revived power. That would have been super obvious, but you used another one. Yeah, I just I I am really glad it worked out because I was searching for music for this scene for. Ever actually, I feel like that's a third of me. Like, yeah, you, you, you're just scrolling through libraries the, well, and this trying is, to listen to things. This is like even I, I want to take away from everything, but this is the thing with any kind of thing, including in Helsing, there would be great conversations about the music choices because in the end, the music is truly the baseline of the scene. It sets the tone. I know some people think like the music should not like be the overriding factor, but for me, mm. music music is a huge part it's of the, media form. I, I, I had a, I had a conversation with like a, a video game like music composer at a convention we went. To uh, and you know he's like oh man I, I love what you guys do you know you, you're so funny and you're so like talented stuff like dude the stuff you do is amazing he's like yeah but nobody ever pays attention so I'm like dude without what you do it's th th everything would be very lifeless you literally bring this shit to life by like composing yeah. the music for it which is why it's we're so lucky we have somebody like Ayn mm -hmm. who would go on to help us make uh, various the versions of tracks for us oh yes especially certain key tracks mm -hmm. that are that Oh yeah, our contend sixty would not be new. Yeah. That, that are, there are certain songs in the DBZ fandom that are what you could say contentious to say the least. But in the end, that's why we didn't want to overuse them. Yeah, here. That's adorable. Sure. Oh, admit it. Admit, admittedly, you huh? blow yourself up or leave. I don't care which. Yeah, okay. Yep. I love that line, and I love that we bring it back. <laughs> yeah, your 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 frustrated Foley is amazing. I, I, He's gone, buddy. That is sad. I am sad. We both are. I here it comes. Stop it! It's so close. Ah, yeah. 
Yeah. So great. Tien. Jeez, I think I can hear that. Yeah, we can. We can survive right there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fox. Is that Shinhan? Yeah. And he, he is, is nettled. nettled. Super, Super nettled. nettled. I remember when we were coming up with that, we were like, we need a word for Nettled? annoyed that yeah. Goku would like that Goku shouldn't know. So but we looked. At, so we just opened up the source. It's just like nettled. That's a fun one. I remember being like this. Nettled isn't a good word. We could come up with a no. No, no we're too wanting you on nettled. No. Yeah. I remember this one. I was specifically well, we were looking at the thesaurus. It's like eh, none of the other ones are as funny. You read books for your writing, you nerds. Wow, Sal sure is getting molly womped out there. I don't like that one either. <laughs> He's gonna die. Damn, probably. probably. Here, I think one of my favorite fuck follies. Cell throwing it back. Yeah, he is throwing it back. Got his pussy up against that. Here it comes, here it comes. Are You're you done? done? Because I'm coming That out. face. And I swear to God, if you do that again, I will be so freaking nettled. Kikoho. Damn it! <laughs> He's really going all out. His body won't last long. The Kikoho just I takes I love this so scene much so much. Yeah, didn't he do that when you, uh, when you died? died. Yes, Jesus, Jesus. we've we literally all done it. it. I, I haven't. haven't. Give, Give it, it some time. time. You're hanging yeah, with right, the right, right crowd. crowd. <laughs> what should we even do now? I feel so helpless. It's just, by I'm, the way, 100% accurate. Yeah. This is, is this the beginning of not giving a shit? Um, uh, this isn't the beginning of not giving a shit, Chao Tzu, but it, like, you know, some the, the, earlier the best, the, I, I love the gremlin that we turned Chao Tzu into. Though. I don't know. Anyways, like his, like his friend is a movie producer or some fucking shit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Some it's like, it, once Chao Tzu came back from life. The second like, death. Yeah, once he came back the second time, it's like, okay, uh, you know I, what? Oh, sorry. This, uh, this is just what it is. Well, I don't yeah. give a shit. I'm really out. I'm just... <laughs> Listen, sometimes, sometimes you, you gotta got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. And right, right now, now, it's folding time. time. Pig, grab my dick! Please tell me you mean the submarine. Heh! <laughs> Not as many people watched History of Trunks that has watched this episode, which means there are so many people out there that don't get that. <laughs> yeah, well, I, hey, at least we mentioned earlier in another Please, episode you're that you're not allowed to name it after uh, your Just junk. as long as you're not allowed to name it after your junk. I'ma do it! Bitch, I'm buying it! I'm naming it! Huh. Not dead Massive yet. shoulders. That's where I'm... Oh, there we go. Your back can never be too big! Oh, this is brutal. I love this scene. You know, if you want my personal opinion, Kiko Ho is a pretty sad choice of last words. But to be fair, it's far from the worst decision you've made today. Kiko, fuck yourself. Oh, see? That's the spirit. Be dead! No! We can't just let it die like this! You gotta save him! But I can't get him in time. There's no way I could move fast enough to grab him, get out, and... Ladies and gentlemen, the pop! The, the, there we go, it begins, everybody, the... I do wonder what was stopping him from doing that a long time ago. In Kakarot, he does it immediately, which it's, is admittedly a really stupid scene, but... This I, is the problem with giving a character like this a power like that. It just becomes kind of like... Why don't you use it? <laughs> that's... This is... This, is, this happens a lot with Goku specifically. Yeah, I mean, I think there was, like, him wanting to make sure that it was at the right moment, or, like, I don't know. I just can't help but feel yeah. in the middle of that thing, he just comes in there and just quick Kamehameha and then jumps away. I like, feel... He could have he stopped that immediately. Imagine popping in there, grabbing 18, and boom! But we have a solution, and here and here is our reasoning for why that happened. Did he just remember he can do that? Your father's an idiot. <laughs> huh? Goku? Hey, sorry, I'm just, I'm just here for my buddy. I'll be gone in a second. Let you get back to your business. Hold on, what? Oh, hey, Piccolo's alive too. Uh, what? Uh, Ooh, little water luck there, buddy. Another case of having water in my mouth gargles. How durable is he? How, How durable, durable am I? I? Question, Question for later. later. Mm -hmm. They'll answer. Okay, I'm about done here. See you tomorrow. Oh, I and uh, by the way, so? That's perfect. You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> the, the shock. <laughs> Where'd he go? What? <laughs> By the way, one thing I want to point He's out. Magic. One, one thing I want to point out. 
Piccolo still being alive and crawling up onto the shore just to get saved by Go Goku is okay. All right. Well, what, what's, sure. what's your problem with that? He should have died. I mean, it's bullshit. He got a hole put through him and then he got sent drowning into the water. It's a good thing we made fun of that. <laughs> um, well, he's 99% he's, he's water anyway. He's, I, he was in his native element. Although I guess it is, I think it has been confirmed that if, uh, like, they can fill a hole in them. If they can regrow an arm, they can fill a hole. Oh, absolutely. I don't have bones, Namekians, I have a make, series of like, bladders. Like, he must not have any vital organs there. That's all. Yeah. Namekians, they can fill holes. Yeah. yeah. Um, we but, have, we oh, can stretch the, the other, affinity size. The other thing I want to mention. Um, so this begins something that I kind of started to write a little bit more for as the series went on. Now, I don't like to, like, hammer on this, but I'm kind of the showrunner for this. Mm, at this point especially, yes. I mean, you're, you're certainly the director, and, yeah. like, every time we're writing... Uh, even if Taka and I two to one you on something, if you say no, yeah. absolutely not. If you hold your ground, it's like okay, then that, that's just that, not happening. And that was and that, it's, and that happens a couple times. Which, that, which I tried not to overuse my veto no, power you, you, in that you, regard. The one time you used it where it was the correct decision was where I'm like, I think adult go on should bang ball. No, no, <laughs> no, no. I you just, you just you're just like lying in the sand. <laughs> No. I'm usually the one that'll, like, if, if I agree with the joke you want to do, I'll usually get it somewhere. Like, I'll, I'll usually you, find a happy middle ground. You, you, you are the, you are the uh, vanguard. You are the guy who goes up there. You're, you're kind of... I'm the negotiator. Yes, no, exactly. No, no, so, so my, myself and Scott are having a standoff, and then Nick walks up to me, and then I just whisper in his ear, and then Nick You're the good to, cop. And, you're and, the and, good and, cop Nick, to his Nick, insane well, no, Nick, cop. Nick turns to Scott, then, I agree with Taka. Scott, no! <laughs> then I, yeah, yeah, then hear I just, me out. Then I start melting. But um, <laughs> here we actually have uh, kind of the start where, like, I wanted to slowly seed that Goku was playing a long game. I don't know if I really thought about it here so much, but then it occurred to me that there needed to be something more. I remember to... this is where you started talking about that. Whereas, mm. like, Go Goku actually does kind of have a plan here, and we wanted to try to start formulating it, and... Uh, that that was the big crux of it right there was making sure that Cell wasn't going to kill everybody immediately after succeeding. Yeah, and I also like in, in, when he says, "Yeah, I'm uh, you're gonna die." That is him. He's gently saying, him. "You have to go after me. You have to go after me. So make you're sure not, whatever you do yeah. isn't like you're not done till you get through me." Yeah, which is playing to him. Um, mm -hmm. But that was something that I really wanted kind of early on, and I'm really glad, because it w it would then go on to alter how we wrote certain scenes mm -hmm. with Goku and Gohan yes. specifically to make sure it fit with that narrative. Mm -hmm. So one thing I'm gonna say is you were very adamant, and this is not a negative thing at all, <laughs> about in particular, I know, it is, I, sometimes it's because we're very driven by our, what we want to accomplish, and for you we're like, you were like, we're making Goku's a bad dad joke, but now that we're in the Cell Saga, we can say something a bit more than that. This, yeah, this is less about him being a bad dad and more about him being an amazing battle tactician. And, and this is why th there is a way to get both across at the same time. Because he's, he's, he's a savant. Yeah, he's which bad is, at a lot of things, but he's great at fighting. That's exactly it. So in the end, Scott was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and make sure that there's a core of what is not lost in the comedy that remains here, but I still want the comedy built around it. Which, by the way was not the best for you two. I remember there were times where I had to be like, guys, remember, goal here. And then I nope. kept having to push back against... I, 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 always agree, I always agreed with the savant angle. But it was, uh, it was, but, uh, I would often lean towards him being dumber than he should be. Well, that's because, like, for, in the end, it's, it's a, it is a comedy. Which is why I always yeah. look at writing Goku and specifically Goku and Gohan beside each other as... Not to say it's an exact one-to-one, -one, Homer Simpson and Lisa. Yeah, it's, it, it, it does have a little bit of that energy. Well, with Lisa being the Brainiac character, Gohan being kind of a Brainiac character, and, you know, our version of Goku being stupid as shit in a lot of ways, but still a fantastic fighter. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah. But yeah, so... Hmm? Take it away here. What? How? Why? <laughs> I have so, so many, many questions. questions! I hope we answered a few of them. Yeah, I do. And you're sure you're okay? Here we go. Bulma, you know what I've been hit by. I'm fine. Now, you got the detonator? Yeah, right here. T T now listen, its signal is weak, so you'll have to be within 10 meters of the androids. So what, what you're, you're saying, saying is I have, have to get, get close. close. Eh, 30 feet isn't that close. Oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get all, all up, up in that. that. <laughs> well, you could use some protection, though. I love this. Pardon? I made you all battle suits, like Vegeta's. Oh, well, thanks, but I probably won't need it. I'm pretty good about pulling out before I get into trouble. Besides, I tried one on Namek, but I got a huge hole in it. 
I remember just saying that line verbatim in the scripting session. I, yep. It's just, it's like, I love it. When, I love it when we don't have to do any work because someone just comes up with the perfect line. Yeah, it's it's just, wonderful when it, it happens. Yep. Okay then, I'll just hand them out to everyone else. See you later. Again, I like when, I personally prefer when a bunch of innuendo flies by and nobody this, acknowledges this, this was a big thing for, this, oh, yeah. this line was big for both of you two. I remember this. There are a lot of people who don't actually get this line and it yeah. makes me sad. Well, talk, I want you guys to talk about it because this really meant a lot to you guys. So. Let me tell you, you know. This remote's a lot heavier than I expected. Huh. Yeah, because that whole bit, like, he now realizes that what the task he has just taken on for himself is, I have to kill this girl. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Or everyone might die. Huh. Ooh, and, and, and like, an it's, it's dawning on him, and it kind of comes to a head when he obviously decides the to destroy it. But. The impossible decision. Yeah. Honestly, the fact that Trunks didn't kill 18 to this day is still a fucking, like, why. Yeah, it, is, yeah. it is odd. The baffling decisions that come in the next couple episodes are, are endless. You okay? Yeah. We may not have Dragon Balls, but I guess Sensu Beans are a close second. It's a good, good thing, thing I showed up when I did. I did. Cell was about, about to 69. Yeah. 86, Dad. 86. I'm not good with numbers. <laughs> I'll admit that was pretty ballsy. But all you did was stall him. Now he's alone to hunt down Android 18. And we don't have anyone with the strength to stop him. Your worthless huh? maggot friends are coming Here's out! Here's a joke I've been what waiting for for a very long no, time. No, Gohan. We haven't gone in yet. Ooh. Wow, really, Goku? Wow. Accidental douchebag Goku's my favorite. I, I have been waiting on this upcoming Vegeta joke for a while. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> just the cadence joke. My god. That boy is thick! Honestly, it's the hottest trunks. Hey, trunks! Oh, man. Wow, neat hair. Oh, my god. First piece of positive reinforcement in over a year. Respond appropriately. Thank you. I grew it, it myself. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's funny. funny. Roll with it. And hey, Vegeta. <laughs> wow, you guys sure got strong, huh? That's right, Kakarot. And you wouldn't believe just how much. You see, while I was training in the depths of the hyperbolic time chamber, I looked deep within myself and blah 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 pride blah 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 Super Saiyan blah blah blah. And through all of that, I have ascended. How to build a Vegeta monologue? I have reached a new level. Do you hear me, Kakarot? I am finally stronger than you! Neat! Fuck you! <laughs> By the way, yeah, you'd been sitting on that for, I can't even, I can't even, like, I feel like... Two ep two to three episodes? Because no, way oh, longer yeah, than longer that. Oh, yeah, longer than that. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 pride. Blah, blah, principle. Blah, 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 blah. Super Saiyan. Blah, blah, blah. Like now, me. now that part, that yeah. part was a little bit newer, but yeah. specifically exactly. the now stronger That's than right. you. I am finally stronger than you. Neat. Neat. Fuck you. Yeah, you were. Oh my god, yeah. I feel like that was like yeah. years at the very least. Yeah. And then, uh, um, also, I can't remember the name of the song that's playing. Uh, that. Yeah, it, it was that PSP game with the little like. Uh, Loco Roku. Yeah, like, Loco Roku. Something like that. Yeah, I. Uh, I love that. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I had been waiting on that bit. Oh, this, this, this. <laughs> Easy go-to. Yeah. I, I think we were actually struggling with a post credit on that one. Yeah. Because everything else was sort of like... We, we don't really have much else for anything. It's like, eh, this'll do. I think we, yeah. I think we had a couple ideas silly. like, Roshi? Eh. Do nah. we want, you want to do Bola? Are, eh. Yeah, we already used everybody else that episode. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just use the lip trilling. It's it's just a we just try and end it on a joke, right? Yeah. yeah. We try and end it on a silly little bit. Or cliffhanger. One of yeah, two. Vegeta is silly. now going to be on his way to the battlefield, and the next episode is an odd one because it's yeah. one that you didn't have like like you, you had some involvement in like the script editing, but the next one is actually one we scripted primarily with Kieran. Mm, this next one. Oh yeah, I was, think... was was this? Be I think this was because I was working on something else at the same yeah, time. Yeah, you were you were busy there, at the there time. There was a lot going on at the time. I think I moved at this time too. Maybe. I think, also at the same time, you know, we wanted to work with Kieran a little bit more, and was uh -huh. like, and because Kieran and Grant, very funny writers, um, and so check like check out on the Good Time Zone. Yeah, check them out on Good Time Zone. Mm -hmm. um, but. We ended up asking Kieran to come in and write like at least one episode and and Super Android thirteen, which oh, we'll and, also get to, and World Strongest. Was he? Was oh he yes, he oh, was yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, he was very big on World Strongest. Uh, it's going to be neat me talking about those because I only think I have one joke I remember even tossing in initially uh, in some of those specials because I think the one 
if I'm remembering correctly, the only thing for this next episode I remember suggesting was why don't what, well, we'll 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 get we'll, well, we'll, we'll get uh, to uh, talking uh, about uh, that. Episode. Well, I can tell you what, you have to watch the next one to find out what I'm about to talk about. Yeah, next time on this thing that we are recording. Fuck you! I swear to God, just do the fucking line. Why can't you print off the script for me? I would still have to line read it for you. That's true, Scott, because God forbid it has to go through your mouth before it gets in mine. I wonder how genuinely pissed I came <laughs> off. I, I wonder how genuinely pissed I come off doing that. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it, I mean this. It's like, is he actually angry? What's where these keeps recording more of them? <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs>